I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to talk about Aptera's suspension and how the engineers has actually fixed it so well um, that it actually rides like a four wheel instead of a three wheel. So let's get into that. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. This is William Bibbs with Free Power, and we're actually talking about Aptera and how the engineers have actually made their suspension so much better. And we're going to take a look at that. So, um, I like for you to join along with me and as we continue to watch Aptera get better and better every day. All right, let's check this out. Well, the biggest changes so far have happened in the rear suspension. We actually got rid of the swing arm design that we had previously and we've moved to a double trailing link, which really helps out the rear ride quality as well as predictability during acceleration and braking. Previously, it was it was set up to where the vehicle during acceleration uh, actually had a little bit of lift to the rear of the car, uh, and now we we have it set up to where it's it's very predictable. You get a very normal vehicle response, something you'd be familiar with with any other kind of vehicle. Uh, for the average consumer, right? If you go over a bump and the car jumps up really aggressively, or you don't feel it at all, those are things that people will perceive. Uh, maybe not knowing exactly how to explain that, spring rates, damping rates, and even air pressure in the tires affects those things greatly. And so for me, one of the biggest things is making sure that the ride rates for the vehicle are as someone would expect them to be in a, in a vehicle of that weight. Um, the other thing would be how does the steering respond in the car? How does the, uh, the brake pedal feel whenever you're applying the brakes to come to a stop? The biggest challenge that we've had so far is finding components that are somewhat a good fit for this vehicle. It's it's a very interesting vehicle in the fact that it's it's so lightweight, right? There's there's so many vehicles in the marketplace that are much much heavier. It's extremely efficient, um, but it comes at a, a little bit of a cost that you have unique parts that are sometimes very challenging to find. For right now, my uh, the next steps for me, like right when I get up out of the seat, is to go and continue finding all of the uh, the fasteners that we need to be able to put the suspension together on the vehicle. We have uh, a lot of a lot of joints in the in the suspension that are very very critical for safety, and that's what I'm I'm working on right now. So during track days, for example, we'll take the vehicle out and. Uh, go up and down the track you know there's there's acceleration testing there's braking testing and uh, some of the big things that we get back from that is what does the vehicle do as a response to that whether it pitches forward or pitches backwards during acceleration or braking whatever whatever the result is we have the ability to understand that data and apply that to what do our new models need to look like uh, so what i think is unique about aptera is the fact that we're so efficiency focused right the a lot of other companies that I've worked for either have, let's say, cost on their minds or what is the uh, the fastest we can make the vehicle. But really, I'm I'm so pleasantly surprised by the co-CEO's uh, mentality and focus on efficiency that we are able to kind of focus our resources to kind of all get together on the same mutual goal of what is the most range we can get out of the vehicle um, to make the world's most efficient car. And uh, that is just something that's, it's not been done in any other company that I've been a part of before. And I'm just really excited to be a part of that. If I were to take the Aptera out for a drive, I could see myself driving up to the, uh, up to the mountains. I've always been a big fan of mountain roads and like fire passes and whatnot, um, to go out and enjoy the vehicle on the curvy roads. Uh, I'm actually very excited for the uh, Luna. So 
So the uh, the color so far, I, I guess I kind of go for the uh, stormtrooper, st stormtrooper kind of look. I, uh, I really appreciate that. One of the great things that we're doing right now is uh, implementing electric power assisted steering. And for that, it's going to be a key player in us enabling autonomous driving for the Aptera. So one of the things that's going to make the vehicle respond and behave the way you would expect it to, as, as any other car, is going to have a proper steering feel to it. You won't have to be applying an a exorbitant amount of force to get the wheel to turn. And uh, autonomous driving is going to be one of our biggest points in the future. And the electric power steering is going to be a huge player in us doing that. Brian, uh, one of the engineers, talking about how smooth the chassis is and how the ride is so smooth and how it breaks and how he likes to actually drive through the mountains and go around the curves. Um, so uh, no doubt those who have sports cars would love to take the Aptera through that since it basically is a sports car, since it can go from zero to 60 and um, was it five seconds? But anyway, um, let's hear some others. Let's hear um, how they describe um, Aptera's ride. All right, right off the bat, I see a huge difference from the alphas, the beta, and now gamma. Um, it just, you know, it's really quiet in here, you know? Yeah, it definitely has a quieter ride for sure. And it's awesome to see kind of the changes that you can hear and feel and see um, from alpha to gamma. I've always really liked how Aptera's corner, um, it feels very much like a normal four-wheeled vehicle, which people really don't expect. Um, but here we are, you know, taking some curves over here, and, like, it feels as locked in as any other, you know, production car, which I really do like. Yeah, my first ride in Alpha, I was shocked at how familiar Aptera felt. I was expecting it to feel like something completely different, because obviously it looks like something completely different than a four-wheeled vehicle, but... Yeah. It feels very familiar, very much like a four-wheeled car. Um, and yeah, you can definitely feel the differences in the turn and the stability um, here in Gamma. All right, so um, there you can see how they felt about it. They said that the turn, the handling is really smooth and nice. And now we're going to listen to um, the guy that owns Passive Life. Uh, I talked about him in an earlier video where uh, he was actually getting in and got a ride in the Gamma in um, Switzerland. So uh, let's hear what he's got to say. In fact, I am very pleased to say that the ride quality was impressively smooth and very stable, maybe even smoother than a regular car. With in-wheel motors and a small battery, this is not something I was expecting. And if you didn't know it only had three wheels, you would never have guessed it. The cornering was so solid and there was no strange movements of any kind. We were driving on an asphalt track, but the constant ice and snow had left a lot of lumps and rivets made of ice, so it was fairly rough, very similar to a dirt track, but I hardly felt any jolts, small or large, which I think is a huge credit to the engineers who worked on the suspension system. Amazingly, even when Chris hit the accelerator and then braked hard on a patch of ice and snow, the Aptera didn't slide at all. It did have snow and mud tires on it, which obviously helps, and we didn't have enough distance to get any real speed up, but it was still impressive, as I'd fallen over on the same patch of ice just an hour ago. This version of the Aptera Gamma is all-wheel drive, with only slightly modified Alafay motors. In terms of performance, they are identical to the standard Alafay motors, so this ludicrous level of acceleration will not be quite as extreme in the final Aptera, but it won't be far off either. I asked Chris about the performance of the custom-made motors, and he claims the current ones, which are in testing, are already 20% more efficient than the original LFA motors, and this is obviously a huge deal and well worth the roughly 15% drop in acceleration rate. All right, so you can hear how he's bragging on how smooth the Aptera ride, and, um, you know, he said that they were on ice and snow, and there was divots, and, you know, he had fell earlier, but he bragged about how smooth the ride was so uh, we could give all praise and applause to uh, the engineers that actually worked on the suspension and got this thing ready so that that is just totally awesome I mean Aptera is really going to be ready once they come out this this company is just ready to go I mean we just they just need the backing and so once they get everything going I mean we're all going to be a part of it that's just going to be great uh, so yes, I am excited for this vehicle. All right. Let's look at the um, accelerated program. Let's see what's happening there. 
and uh, hopefully this thing will pop up. If it doesn't, I'll just click on it again, and let's see what happens. There we go. All right, yes, look at that jump. It jumped up again. Okay, we're at 293 investors, 3.78 million. Yes, indeed. And of course, you know who's claiming the first spot again, no doubt. That's RP from out of uh, Maryland. And um, uh, the first, I, I imagine the first four t 10 um, spots have not changed at all with JB in second, GT in third, G, uh, PG in fourth, and WT in fifth. But I envy all these guys because they're going to get there at Terra before I will. I mean, I, I'm still going to wait on mine. Bag. I'd like to go ahead and get the launch edition, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. But um, we'll just have to wait and see. All right, you guys, is everything looking good? At Terra looking great? Uh, what do you think about the suspension that they have on? I know you can't wait to get your app tour just like I can't. Oh, yes, it's going to be awesome. All right, so uh, give a shout out to my guys. You, you guys keep me going. Uh, if you're new here, ring the bell, hit the like, subscribe. You catch my new videos when they come out. But once that Terra starts rolling, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm like um, passive life. You know, I'm like a kid at a candy store waiting for the doors to open. And so I, that's all we can do right now. But once they start rolling, oh boy, this is going to be big. All right, you guys take care. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.